Rome, the eternal city. Its ancient structures still standing, kissed by the warm summer sun. After thousands of years, there's still so much to uncover. Treasures underfoot lay buried all across Italy. The profession of unearthing ancient artifacts, or tomb raiding as it's called here, is as old as Rome itself, passed down from generation to generation. This open-air museum is a temptation for those who believe in profit over patrimony. While visiting Roman Emperor Nero's beachfront imperial villa situated just south of Rome, CNN stumbled across this man. He had breached the perimeter fence and was apparently digging for treasure in broad daylight. The police were called and the man was reprimanded and moved on right in front of us. Police said he claimed he was looking for plastic. This ancient villa, like many other sites, has not been fully excavated. Its treasures still lie buried underground, ripe for plunder. Stolen artifacts end up all over the world, from major museums to private collections. Reality star Kim Kardashian West was recently named in court filings over a Roman statue that was confiscated in 2016 by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. A spokesperson for Kardashian West said she, quote, never purchased this piece, and efforts are underway to return it to Rome. The global market in art and antiquities was worth $50 billion in 2020. According to authorities, there were at least 20 million U.S. dollars worth of Italian artifacts trafficked last year. People want to participate in history. People want to own history. And obviously you want to do it uh, legitimately. You want to go to the, the proper authorities, the right auction houses that can say, I guarantee then that what you're purchasing has the provenance. Darius Arya is a trained archaeologist whose own digs have been pilfered. He says it's not just the Tomboroli who are the criminals. It goes all the way up the food chain to the buyer. Italy's Carabinieri Cultural Police Force is credited with bringing back Italy's stolen treasures. In 2020, the Italian Cultural Police were able to bring back 500,000 stolen items. That's in just one year alone. There is a double damage when Tombaroli take away the objects from a necropolis or excavation in this country. The first is the economic damage, the artistic and historical value. The second is what we call decontextualization of a site, where they rob the archaeologists of tracing the history of the piece. In this vault in central Rome, stolen art brought back from all over the world is catalogued, cleaned and prepared for a new home. Stefano Alessandrini says he's worked on bringing back thousands of artifacts. Half a million? It's incredible, but many are uh, things from uh, libraries, uh, archives, uh, uh, many are little things, but also the little thing is very important for our history. So. It's just too difficult to police and excavate all these treasures, and there's no lack of buyers. The pandemic saw an uptick of sales online. Italy fighting to preserve its cultural heritage one treasure at a time.